Can't wait. Very good. Well, 642 on Daybreak with the Susan G. Komen race for the cure this Saturday, all week here on Daybreak. We're bringing you some of the stories of survivors who will be honored there. And Daybreak Stephanie Barnes met up with a longtime Komen volunteer and survivor herself, who is a pretty dedicated way of remembering what she's been through and spreading awareness to others so they don't have to go through the same. Linda Gray's Grand Island home is peppered with the color pink. From a towel in the kitchen to beads in the dining room to handbags sitting on the coffee table. I have several pink dresses and gowns, um, earrings, pins, shoes. Enough pink to cover 20 years. Linda was diagnosed with breast cancer in 1998 and she has worn some piece of pink every single day since. It's my humble reminder. At some point of the day, I'm going to look down to make sure my dress is okay or have to adjust my bracelet or something. And there's that reminder that, you know, you got another chance. So use this time to do something for someone else. And she has been and continues to do so much for others. Linda is a longtime volunteer for Susan G. Komen, upstate New York. And this year, she'll be recognized as the 2018 Race for the Cure honoree. I get a chance to say publicly how grateful I am for a second chance at life. Excuse me. I get to say thank you for family and friends and people that I don't even know that have been there for me through my journey. And it's been a journey. Her breast cancer story started in February of 1998. Linda had a routine checkup and checked out just fine. But then in July of that same year, thanks to the WGRZ It Takes Two campaign, Linda was doing her monthly breast self-exam and found a lump. I have been a person who have always, always uh, gone for regular checkups. I believe in taking care of myself. But were it not for the self-examination that I did three months after having a physical and a mammogram, I know I wouldn't be here now. And in fact, at the time, doctors said she wouldn't be here long. After surgery to remove the cancer, she was told she had just six months to live. Nearly 20 years later, though, she's still here and hopes her story is a reminder to be proactive about your health and know your resources for help, like the Susan G. Komen organization. As the 2018 Race for the Cure uh, honoree, Linda will lead the Survivor Processional at 8.30 on race day. She will also be walking in the race with her team that she calls Linda's Rainbow. And I mean, for anybody that's out there, say hey to her. I'm sure she would love to know that you saw her story and you understand her message to get out there about breast cancer and fighting breast cancer. And certainly from everyone here at Channel 2, I know we say congratulations to Linda for nearly 20 years cancer free. What a survivor and an inspiration. And it's always my favorite part Part of the race for the cure when all of the survivors walk through the balloons and come up on stage and hug each and every one of us and for her to be leading the hundreds and thousands of women who are there as survivors she is uh, quite the inspiration and leader herself amazing yeah. powerful moment and powerful story that linda shared with us all right thanks very much steph